Hello, my name is Mark Lessig and I'm here to talk to you about how I got my function back after a bad car accident with osteointegration. Now osteointegration, as you can see, I had a rather nasty accident and it looked like I lost my whole arm. In fact, I have got a small amount of arm. This is what I've got left and that's a plastic model representing what I've got left of my arm. I went to Sweden, I had a bolt that size put in in a first stage operation. It's a titanium implant, the surgical implant planted by Dr. Richard Brunemark in Sweden. It stayed in there six months till a bone grew in and then I went back and they put an abutment in it. The abutment is that, that has a male hex on it and the male hex fits into the female hex. That is second stage operation. But prior, at the first stage, they put a bone graft in. The bone graft is represented by the other plastic bit, and that's out of my hip bone. And then that's the bit you see sticking out of my skin right there. And that is in stainless steel. This is in titanium. So this gave me my shoulder function back, whereas normally I would wear a socket and have lost my shoulder function. It's known medically as shoulder disarticulation. This is the puck that goes over my abutment to help hold my uh, prosthesis on. And it's like a hockey puck, it's in two halves, and it clamps over like that, over my abutment. It goes on like so, and then the, I have a small sub arm which has a rotational device on it, which protects the bolt from any twisting or torque motion. There's a clamp with a bicycle clip, clip on it, which goes over the puck, and that's the way it's held on. It goes on like that, it snaps on, you put it to the right angle, there's a ball joint in there to align the arm in the correct direction, and down here is a um, attachment, which is normally out of a prosthetic wrist, but in this case it's been used on the upper humerus. So I'm clamping up now the, um, the puck, and then I am now donning my prosthesis. The prosthesis is an endo-exoskeletal, but it doesn't use a socket. It looks like a socket, but in fact, in the end of that, there is a conventional wrist clamp, which snaps in. Now, this is a carbon fiber lightweight arm, and I don it by putting that on, and then pressing the lever and it goes in and it then snaps in place. So that now is very, very firm. Now this arm is very unique in as much as it looks like a socket prosthesis up here, but it's held by my bone. It has an internal metal bone going down into here. So, but I am getting feedback through the carbon fibre, which doesn't react to the body like fibreglass, I get feedback by that being loose on the skin, so I'm getting feedback through um, the skin sensation when I touch something transferred from here to here, as well as osteoperception, which is a normal part of osteoperception. You can feel vibrations and you can feel firmness through your bone. It's a, it's, it's a type of sensation that's hard to explain, but you can feel again through your bone. But the process itself is carbon fibre and the hand is a sensor speed hand and it's controlled, the hand is controlled by a belt along my tummy because my, all my bicep muscles for normal or myoelectric signals are gone. I'm too short an amputee. And, but the beauty about it is I've got nearly my full range of motion and that's tremendous. You can see just how high I can go, as high as my other hand. I haven't lost any range of motion. And due to osteointegration, I have now got my shoulder back, thanks to Richard Brunemark and his team in Sweden. I'll never be able to thank him enough. Thank you.